Okay, welcome back. We've come a long way, and we've got two short little sessions we need to do. Basically, I want to go over searches again with you a little bit. I know we've already touched upon this, but I just want to make sure that you're good to go on searches. And then I want to show you how to export and import your notes. So here we are. we got all our notes. And if we go up here into the search box, you can see recent searches that I've done. You can also search by notes from a mobile device or different things down here. You can have notes from web resources, types of content. There are a lot of different choices that you can have. You can add a search option. You can search by notebook, and then this will list your different notebooks. We have car maintenance, finances, gift ideas, things of that sort. And we have search by tags, and then this would list all the different tags that we have been using. You have contains, and that will tell you whether the note contains images, audio files, attachments, a lot of different um, choices here. Encrypted notes as well, encrypted text. And then the source, whether it was from email or a web page or a mobile device or your desktop or whether you scanned it. And then finally, you can look for when it was created, whether it was before today, since today, whether it was before yesterday and or last year different time frames there. Let's just go ahead and search for, let's say, Evernote. We've already searched this, so let's go ahead and search this again. And if we search for Evernote, you'll see over here on the middle pane, it found 10 notes that have Evernote in it. So we can kind of scroll through here and take a look at what it has for us. And if you get to a text note like this, if there's the word Evernote in the text that you wrote, it'll be highlighted. Here's another example. So those are just a quick overview again of searching. And remember that searching a lot of times depends upon your tags. One thing to keep in mind is it's not necessary to tag everything. Tags are a powerful feature, yes, but you don't have to tag every single note. You might want to just tag the notes that you feel are important for a specific reason. And then another thing you might consider is that when you're tagging, try to go from sort of a, a broader category to a more narrow category. So for instance, let's say you were tagging something with recipes. Recipes might be the first tag, but then the second tag could be Chinese or Mexican or American. That way you can narrow down your searches within the broader category. So start broader and then narrow it down. Okay, so that gives you a little bit idea little guidance for searches. Now for exporting your notes. Now why would you want to export your notes? Well, it's one way you can back them up. And you might think, I thought that all my notes were backed up on the Evernote servers. And they are. But if you want to export your notes, again, just for peace of mind, just for safekeeping, you can do so. Maybe you feel that your account has gotten out of control. There's just too many notes or there's too many notebooks or something and you just want to start fresh. You can export and then import into another account or that would be another thing you could do. Let's say a friend of yours has an account and you want to share all of your notes with them but you don't want to go through the bother of sharing a notebook and all that kind of stuff. You just want to export your notes and give them to your friend or your colleague. So what you do is open your notebooks, go up to the file menu, and click on export all notes. And you're gonna give it a name, probably give it your username. You might even 
add the date or something of that sort. But I'm just going to say Tech Demos Notes. I'm going to save it as an XML format. This is the native format for Evernote. It has this ENEX extension. I could save it as an HTML file if I wanted to simply look at the notes in my browser for whatever reason. You could also, if you export it as an XML file, you could use that as a web page, upload it to a web page, whatever. But if you're trying to preserve the Evernote format and you want to be able to share them with friends or re-import them into another account, then you need to choose this XML format. So we're going to leave the tags for each note. We're going to click Save. And we're going to click OK. All right. So now I'm going to log out of this account, log into another demo account that doesn't have any notes in it, and I will show you how you can import these. OK, so here we are in another demo account. And as you can see, there's no notes. You've only got your first notebook, basically a pristine account. So I'm going to click on the file again, file menu, click on import notes. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm looking for this ENEX file, techdemosnotes.enex. I'm selecting that, click open, and it's going to import all of my notes. And there they are. Close these reminders. Now, these are the notes. And if I click on my notebook, you'll notice what it does is it creates a notebook called Import Tech Demos Notes. That's where your 31 notes are. So what you can do is, at this point, you have all your notes here. You can click on your notebook. You can either change the name, rename your first notebook into your inbox or whatever you want to call it. And you could create other folders as well, or you could rename this one. But if you wanted to organize those notes into different folders differently than you had in the account that you exported from, you could do so, and, that's, and this is where you would do it. So that wraps up searching and exporting and importing. And with that, we're done. And I'd have to say congratulations because you have come a long way. We have looked at how to create an account. We've looked at the web version of Evernote. We've looked at the desktop version of Evernote. We've compared briefly the Mac version and the Windows version. We've looked at all different ways to create notes, all different ways to mash up notes, create multimedia notes with text, images, audio, video. We looked at ways to share notes, to share notebooks, and we've explored different strategies for using Evernote in both our personal and family life, if you will, as well as in professional life. So I hope you've gotten something out of this course, and most importantly, I hope that it has sparked your interest into going further with Evernote and sort of got your creative juices going and you have some good ideas on how you could apply this to your own life and other creative ways that we haven't even talked about. That's one of the beautiful things about Evernote is it's so easy to use and so flexible that really you can think of ways to use it that people may not have thought of yet. So I know that you have a lot of choices online when you're choosing courses, and I do thank you for choosing mine and for investing the time in this course. And until next time, I hope to see you in another upcoming course from Tech Demos. Thank you.